This place is a disaster. We are knee deep in packing. I would say I'm 75% done. Today's mission, <laughs> take apart this desk. So I'm gonna put this desk in storage at my parents' house. This desk I need to take apart because it's huge and does not fit in my car and I wanna lay it flat for storage. It's got over 10,000 five-star reviews and I wholeheartedly agree. So I don't wanna get rid of this desk. I just don't think I'll have room for it where I'm going. So it's going to be in storage for now. I just need to get it there and that involves get getting in my car, yeah. getting these legs off. And for some reason I woke up okay. to so many messages about this office chair this morning. It like, I listed it yesterday, didn't really have any bites, but man, it's like all of a sudden this morning, everybody wants that damn thing. So uh, the first person to back their vehicle up to my front steps and open the hatch so I can throw this thing in their vehicle and get it out of my face is the person who's going to have it. <laughs> I have to get this storage pile under control and out of the way get everything tucked neatly into one corner so it's out of sight out of mind for the moment update <laughs> we're tired already we're tired but no it's good i've got the list of things to be stored at my parents house in one neat little out of the way pile and the office chair Sold for 20 bucks. Good riddance. The other updates. <laughs> Two things happening here this morning on the computer. <laughs> Number one, on Friday, my CPA told me that somehow I have over contributed to my HSA to the tune of $1,082. That sucks for my HSA account balance. That obviously brings that back down by over a thousand bucks, but it's okay. At least that money at this time will get redeployed into moving, hopefully an apartment uh, security deposit, first month's rent, whatever, fingers crossed. Um, so we'll see. And then I had to schedule a workplace physical for my new job today. $110. Unfortunately, I couldn't use my HSA to pay for that. I had to pay for that out of pocket, so it kind of sucks, but oh, so much to be done. So I guess on that same foot, as I was like moving shit around this morning, I it feels really weird to say, but at this moment of, in time, even though I'm a few months deep into unemployment, starting a new job, you know, first week of May, have to be out of here at the end of the month don't have a place nailed down to where i'm moving to so i still don't know if my stuff is like going south or north all to my parents house or in a storage unit like I, there's so much chaos up in the air ultimately i'm feeling really thankful for being unemployed right now this is the least stress when it comes to actually packing and like current apartment cleanup, you know, like taking all the command strips off the walls and pulling out nail holes, patching the nail holes, patching the paint, cleaning the cabinets, you know, all of the shit you have to do when you move out of a place. It is so dang nice to not have to be doing all of that on top of working a full-time job and also just cramming all of this packing and things into weeknights when you're also trying to make dinner and prepare for the next day at work. It's just like to have all of my days and hours free aside from all these random appointments and running here and there and getting all these things done that have to be done. By and large to have my days free to actually pack in a sensical manner, thoroughly take my time to go through things and properly declutter, list thing for, things for sale or for free online and like have the time to deal with the onslaught of messages and flaky people and you know trying to work around the, that kind of stuff. It's been so nice not having a job on top of this and like this is probably one of the very few scenarios on earth where I would ever say 
I'm thankful to be unemployed in this instance because obviously unemployment's not fun. It's scary, it's sucky, it's financially draining, it's annoying, but it is nice to have this time to properly do all of this shit because otherwise, like, obviously I would be incredibly stressed out like I have been every other time I've moved. <laughs> so, I just got back from the library and I got some news while I was there. I got the apartment. Yes, oh my gosh, you guys. We have a place to live. Pepe, we have a place to live. I know he's pumped on the inside, he's just tired. Oh my God. I'm so relieved, oh my goodness. I, we got a place to go. I've got a place to put my shit. <sighs> yes. Oh my gosh. Extra happy right now. Oi. <laughs> I'm so relieved. Oh, I'm so relieved. The great thing is it, it just got renovated, so it's empty right now. So I can, they said I can move in at a prorated rate, which, <sighs> yes, please. I hate, like you have to, move out on the 31st and you can't be in your new place till the first no that doesn't work for anybody <laughs> oh my gosh that's so exciting i need to figure out exactly what day i would like to technically move in i'm super happy to pay the prorated additional amount even though i've already paid for the full month here i don't care that is extra time to alleviate stress of this situation and it's extra time to get us into that apartment and have some time to settle more so for them i'm so worried about them because may 6th is my first day of training which is two and a half hours south and that's monday to friday for three weeks in a row i'm probably not going to be able to come home during the week to go back through boston during evening commute rush hour we'll see we'll see oh my gosh i'm just so relieved for right this minute that's all that matters uh, we have a place to live update Someone's up from his nap, making biscuits. So I wrote back to the rental broker and I asked if we could do an early move-in. And she just said I could do either the 19th or I had asked for the 16th if possible. But she said either the 19th or the 20th. So we now have nine or 10 days to plenty of time, plenty of time. That's so much time to do so much more here. It's gonna be. It's gonna be great. I feel like the biggest struggle with Facebook Marketplace is that people like half read the messages. <laughs> it's like, you say, let me know when you're on your way and I can, you know, get something ready, set it out for you, whatever. <laughs> and they don't say anything back and then all of a sudden, I'm here. It's like, oh my God, give me a minute. <laughs> okay. Oh well. Such is life. That's good. In, in the last couple minutes, I've gotten rid of my two dining chairs. I bought them for a couple bucks at Goodwill, like back in 2019. So, and I've gotten rid of some art canvases I'm not gonna use. And someone is coming up to pick up that guy that I had above my bed in a few minutes. So, bye. <laughs> and there's so much stuff leaving. Things are getting organized clothes are nice and boxed up i've got the virtual like walk through first thing in the morning for the moving quote so i'm trying to get things grouped together so i can be like nope that pile is not part of it you know that kind of thing make it a little bit easier but man slowly but surely all right so get to 25 initial deposit I just want to make sure just because I know that you want to be under a certain amount mm -hmm. and literally like 
I can get you there, but if we'd have to do packing, obviously we go above it. I appreciate that transparency. Totally, totally get it. Give me one second. Let me just get everything sent over to you. I'm going to send you over the contract as well as the invoice. It is time to do a kitchen declutter. I'm not gonna pack everything here. I just want to go through everything, check expiration dates, organize things a little bit better, get rid of things that I am haven't been using and haven't used probably in the two and a half years since I've lived here. I know there's a couple items lingering that I'll find later on, but for now, I just wanna clean out some of the upper cabinets, like this one above the fridge that just really has my mason jar storage and the one above the stove that has uh, mostly spices in it, I'm gonna declutter in a bit. Even though I've run out of boxes, I do wanna get the things pulled out of these upper cabinets just to get a bit of a jump start on emptying and packing up the kitchen. And I'm definitely not gonna need these things in the next week or two before I move. So I might as well start getting them packed up, get the cabinets cleaned and ready for the next tenant.
Okay, so this is the declutter pile from the kitchen. Some dishes I just wasn't reaching for, even though I love that plate. My Dutch oven, the enamel is coming off on the inside, so it's no longer safe to cook things in. It's good for bread though, but still not useful. And then a little pile of other things I was no longer using. Now guys, I also had to clear out the plants. Unfortunately, all the veggies I had growing in the windowsill, with the exception of this little radish here, uh, they all got pretty dang leggy once the grow light died and it's been cloudy and dismal almost every dang day. So they didn't really stand a chance and I didn't give too much of an effort knowing, knowing I was going to be moving soon. So unfortunately I had to say goodbye to the veggies, but we'll probably start again in the next apartment. But it is time to start corralling all of the plants in general. And can we just talk about the super deal that I snagged on these cat carriers, you guys? We have been using soft-sided ones and it is just a little too small for Piper. She's, she's a big girl. She's got some heft to her and they just were not working. They would claw at the inside of them during car rides and it just... It wasn't good, so I wanted to get some hard-sided carriers. Since for the move, they're gonna be in the car for an hour at least, and that's a first time for both of them, so it's gonna suck. And I just want them as safe and secure as possible. It's just gonna be a horrifying day for them, but I snagged both of these hard-sided carriers for five bucks a piece. Can you believe that? Facebook Marketplace win, y'all. I have been pricing those for a while and they've been anywhere from 15 to people, some people are selling them for $45 a piece. And of course they're really expensive brand new nowadays. So I was super excited. The lady told me she only had one available for five bucks, but when I showed up, she had three. So I snagged two for 10 bucks and I'm happy. Now they just need a little bit of scrubbing. They're not gross or anything. They just have a little dust and cobwebs. And once I'm done scrubbing these up, I am gonna go back to the kitchen. I just needed a little bit of break and next up is gonna be the spice cabinet. <laughs> This is pretty embarrassing. I routinely declutter every time I move. However, some things slip through the cracks and spices can certainly be one of those things for me. So I can't believe I just found this really old pepper. I asked you guys in Tuesday's video what date you thought it was. So shout out to everyone who guessed 2016. Not terrible, but that's eight years ago at this point long, long overdue to be decluttered.
I guess everybody wants to be on top of the fridge today. But that's enough cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. This is the current state of affairs. It's quite a mess, but things just tend to get bad before they get better, including this explosion in the living room. But the exciting news is we've got an apartment. I cannot wait to share that empty apartment tour with you guys. So that should be coming up very, very soon. I'll see you then.